In this video, we're going to create a new role with specific OU permissions. So first things first, let's navigate to settings, permissions, and let's create our brand new role. This role we're going to call the OU car cloud access role manager and create the role there. On permission schemes, we're gonna look at our default OU permission schemes because we are applying permissions at the OU level. So this is gonna be our, where our focus is. We're going to select edit and the two permission schemes that we want to apply here uh, after our testing are going to be browse OU. And let's take a quick look down here for this one here. Go to select our brand new role, OU Cloud Access Role Manager. And let's update permissions there, as well as let's go back to edit. The second permission we're going to be looking to apply is manage descendant uh, OU cloud access roles is first option here. So we're going to select our OU car manager and update the permission scheme there. So if we go to our roles here and we navigate over to our OU car manager and view, we see we have our default OU permission scheme. If we view mapping, should see two items selected, manage to send OU cloud access roles and browse OU. These will give us the permissions that we want to see. Now, if the user is a uh, auditor of every cloud access role in the organization, they should have access to the top level uh, OU. So we're gonna look at this company A OU navigate to the company AOU to apply the role to a user at this OU level. We're going to navigate up into the three dots in the top right corner, select manage user permissions, find our role in the list here. We have our OU car manager. And from here, we're going to select our user that we want to have as access, David Haller. We're going to select that and simply hit save. So now if we log out and log back in with our uh, dhaller user. We can now see that we can see all, uh, all of our OUs, but have limited data viewing those OUs.